Hey, I'm Dave, and this is PLA versus ABS. If you're just getting started into 3D printing and looking into materials to print with, you very well may be overwhelmed. But let's start with the basics and look into why you may start with PLA versus ABS. PLA, polylactic acid, is a renewable biodegradable material that people really succeed well with when they start printing. That is because you do not need a heated bed to print. And secondly, it has a really low melting point, about 180 degrees C. If you extrude at that temperature, you can succeed really well. PLA is a really stiff material, so it has uh, great properties for mechanical things, little clips, little snaps, even little art pieces, a really robust material for most purposes. Its biggest weakness is actually because of that low melting point and ease of extrusion and ease of printing with. If you, let's say, left this on the dashboard of your car during a hot summer day, it could very easily droop. So that is maybe one thing to consider not printing PLA with. Secondly, it can be a little brittle. So because of its stiffness properties, some things can break easily. But again, if you're just doing little figurines or desktop toys or stuff like that, PLA is still a great, great option and really easy to use to begin with. After succeeding with PLA, you may decide to venture into ABS. What is ABS? ABS, the most familiar thing people uh, recognize are Lego. Those blocks are made of ABS plastic. Many other things, household items and things you're using on a daily basis are also made of ABS. ABS prints a little bit more tricky than PLA. Uh, printing temperature is a little bit higher, so you might start at 220 degrees Celsius and a heated bed is definitely required. A little bit of uh, hairspray does the job to make sure everything adheres to the bed surfaces. Printing can be a little trickier though. That warping that you may see on the edges may need a little treatment or even printing with a brim may help you succeed. But why would you pick ABS? ABS is known for its mechanical properties. It has a little bit more flex. It's a tiny bit softer uh, to print with so those mechanical properties may be better for you. Secondly, it finishes really easy, so sanding it, painting it, priming it, very easy, and even an acetone bath to smooth all those layers can be really helpful. For anyone debating between PLA and ABS still, I would give a strong recommendation towards PLA. It's much easier to succeed with early, pull a print off the bed, and be happy with. Fewer warping issues and, and details like that. Don't be afraid, though, to step into ABS after kind of graduating from that PLA land. Uh, P ABS is a great material to kind of graduate into. I'll give further information in the description below for articles to get a deeper dive for PLA and ABS information. As always, go to madhackers.com for everything 3D printing. Thank you for watching. If you liked that, subscribe to our channel to keep up to date with all the latest videos. And don't forget, go to matterhackers.com to shop for everything 3D printing.